Hi, welcome to Base Editing with Daisy. In this segment, we're going to explore lighting options, partly because lighting options affect your building location options, such as will you build inside the walls or outside the base walls, and partly to show you what options you do have in the base editor. There are three basic options for lighting. If you go down to your base editing bar, the bottom tab on the left hand side says options. We'll show you a menu and you can choose indoor, outdoor skylighting, outdoor with shadows. Right now I have this base set to indoor lighting. And if you go to the window for the room that you're in, you'll see three tabs, stats, which is the default tab, lighting and info. So if you click on lighting, usually comes set pretty dark and uh, you can change the color of your lighting. You can change it to whatever you want to. Let's say you're feeling blue. Um, let's say you're feeling very dark blue or maybe even a little bit red down here at the bottom. So you can kind of set the mood, set the tone, set the atmosphere, whatever you want to do with your lighting and your style choices. Now if you want to add some more light, you're going to need to place an item that gives off light. Uh, some items do, some items don't. There is a guide on the forums which will show you which items do. So when I place an item that gives light, you can see it changes the light around it, changes the color, takes some of the color out because it's a brighter light source. and It's going to give off light. Um, if I want to have a diffused light that without a visible light source, I might bury a light in, say, this floor. And uh, depending on which way I tilt that, it's going to change how that is uh, working. It's not wanting to go. Um, so, however I decide that's the way I want that lit, then I'll um, put it like that and I'll just sink that into the floor. So you can see, again, that changed the color all around it. It is lighting that area. And that's something that you can only do on indoor lighting. Uh, outdoor lighting, I'll show you. Go back to outdoor lighting. And uh, this is outdoor lighting. This is, a, I can tell from the blue tint, it's nighttime. Uh, you can see my light source, although it's glowing, is not changing the area around it. It is not actually giving off any light whatsoever. So the lighting for outdoor lighting, whether you do outdoor lighting or outdoor with shadows, is going to be monotone. You can't change the color. You can't change the amount of light in any particular area. And you can't change whether or not it's day or night. And it's going to cycle through day and night just like the game does. So I have this base set to indoor light. And uh, let me just show you why I decided to do that. I'm going to go down here. And this is my undersea base, underwater base. And you can see I got some blue green tones going on here. Um, See a few little fish swimming around here and there. And it all looks like I want it to look under an ocean. But what happens if I take this light and change it to outdoor lighting? I just lost all that color. Now it looks like my fish are swimming around in a bit of a desert. And my base, now this is nighttime again, my base is very monotone and pretty dim. So when I can light it with the indoor lighting, I can set each area how I want it, maybe a little bit darker to give a little atmosphere, a little glow of some of the effects, or a little brighter so I can see what I'm doing. And I get the color from the base lighting outside in the quote-unquote sea area. Now let me show you why this 
particular base, it was so hard for me to choose which lighting type because I've got something up top here also. I have an island. You can see a little tiki hut and beach and uh, some trees and uh, the waterfall. And this all looks very different if I choose the indoor lighting option. See right now, this is nighttime. And you can see I do have other light sources, but they're not actually changing the light. They're just lit up themselves. So when I decided to do all indoor lighting, that meant I had to individually light or manually light anything that was outdoors. Well, what does that mean? What did I do? I'll just show you what I did. Remember how I sank that light into the floor? Well, I sank a lot of lights just under the surface. Sometimes I angled them one way, sometimes I angled them another way just to get the lighting effect that I wanted because um, these different materials reflect light differently. Like the uh, rocks, you'll notice, are very bright. They pick up light much more easily than the grass does. Um, the trees are especially problematic. You'll notice there are some trees that are a little bit darker than others, and other trees that are kind of lit up. Um, this is because, yes, they do have lights. And uh, it's kind of hard to light a tree because a lot of times it's very difficult to hide a light source inside of a tree. So what do I do? Well, my favorite little technique, I'll show you. I'll just get rid of this palm tree. And you can see there's a little candle right there inside the top of the palm tree. You'll find this candle at the very end of room details. And there are three candles and one of them says it's lit with light. So it has its own um, light source inside of it, inherent light source, and it will light up your tree really very nicely for you. So the trees that are lit, you can see and you can tell the difference between the trees that are and the trees that are not. Now the deciduous trees like this, they're a little bit harder because they sway and your light source doesn't. But um, yeah, I still get some light up in there uh, to light that up. So those are just a few little tricks that I've learned and a few of the options that you have when you are designing your base. I'm Daisy and I hope this helped. Thanks a lot.